Forex Fortune Hunters, Tom Wilmot. You're looking at a chart of the pound against the yen on July 2nd, 2019. Just a couple days before the 4th of July here in the States. And in just a second, if you'll hold on to your hat, we'll see how our template new Gimma brought us 75 pips in the session today. Just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, Fortune Hunters, let's take a look at how we can lock in 75 pips of profit for ourselves here using the new Gimma template. And we're going to focus on our Tuesday trade here in the pound versus the yen, a 15-minute chart. Each one of the candles here represents 15 minutes of trading time. But before we get to Tuesday, let's back up and see what happened over the weekend. And get rid of this for the time being so it doesn't confuse the heck out of us. And you can see here, if we even expand this a little further, a little bit further, here was Sunday night, uh, the uh, end of trading on Friday last week. We ended up with a short session, obviously, in the Sunday afternoon time frame. Uh, East Coast, 5 uh, o'clock it begins. We had a push higher based upon outcome of uh, the outgrowth of the talks at the G20, in which I think the tariffs were uh, new tariffs were postponed for a period of time, and the market reacted to that uh, with some strength. And then it fell back just as quickly uh, into the Asian session where we chopped around a bit. Now, we did have a trade here. Uh, if we pull back into our bands, and these are our multiple moving averages, which is why we call it GIMA. Anyway, this trade right here on the reversal was good for 30 pips. So if you were trading the Asian session and you're an Australian or someone from New Zealand or Hong Kong or wherever, that would have been a trade that you could have used. Uh, this came back and tried to regain the highs in that uh, London session. And there's our blue line, which indicates uh, 2 a.m., in Boston, which is about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning over in England and Germany. Uh, and so, therefore, we pull back, but then we fail dramatically as we move into the full London session, and down, down, down we go. Now, I said this was basically untradeable because notice there is no pullback into the bands here. It's just a straight shot to the downside as the market decides to reverse the move from Friday afternoon. Uh, there is a trade if you pull back into this area, potentially, but as I recall, it wasn't worth much. It was about 23 pips altogether. And then we had a continuation up here. Uh, the bands weren't particularly helpful to us at this point in time. Down we go, and uh, we come to this level where we try to take out uh, the highs here. We create a new uh, up move uh, where the 12 uh, moves up over the 24 EMA. But uh, bottom line is here we can't get going again. And so here's our yellow afternoon line to just remind us that we're moving into a chop fest until 5 p.m. on Monday. And now we come into the Tuesday session. Okay, notice here that as we move around these lines, we don't really get much action until into the uh, uh, Asian session, deep into it right here where we had a plunge downward, a reversal higher. The market still can't really figure out what to do. But here we are in the Tuesday London session, you can see here. And so therefore, we come up into this area and then we begin to break down. Now, in this particular case on this chart, uh, and let me make it a little smaller so it's clearer, you can see very nicely how we pull back, but we're stuck in our multiple moving averages here. These are the longs all the way up to a 50 EMA, and we can come up, but we can't get to that point, and then we fail. And in this particular case, the risk-reward is excellent. We're right at our uh, Zealander moving average signal line, and we've got an 11-pip uh, uh, risk up to above that line. So even after this failure, if you come back up and take this out, you're only risking 11 pips. We come in, we chop. This is the 7 a.m. hour in Boston, New York. This is the opening of the New York Stock Exchange. You can see once that trade is in place to the short side, we have a continuing plunge down once the market opened on uh, Tuesday. And this trade was really quite remarkable. 
from even this point down here, we were in for 77 pips. And then we traded out. And you can see, once again, uh, the line here. As we move into the July 4th holiday period in the States, this uh, with a half-day Wednesday primarily, uh, this is going to slow down and not be worth much probably over the coming 48 hours and even into the weekend. So those are the uh, uh, trade uh, topics we wanted to cover in our video today. Uh, in this particular case, it really wasn't worth it and switch down to the five-minute chart. You could just stick with the 15 and off you go. Uh, there are maybe some scalping trades in the middle, but with the, with the uh, pound and the yen, you've got a three pip kind of spread. And so you want to be a little careful about the lower time frames with pound and yen. Keep it to the uh, potentially to the 15 minute chart. And even if we move up one, let's see what happens when we go to the 30 minute chart. Here we were. You can see it's even more dramatic. Here's your downtrend. Here's your pullback into the band. So once again, the only other one I'd like to point out to you is our RSI with our 4555. You can tell you're safe because we're unable to crack through. Each one of these areas is helpful to watch on our RSI. Okay, guys, I hope that helps uh, keep you in line with our GIMA template. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, if you do, and uh, check us out at fxfortunehunter.com. If you would like uh, any of these indicators, uh, please shoot me an email over there. Let us uh, know via your comments what you like and don't like, what other pairs you'd like us to see about. And uh, uh, if you uh, send me that email, I'll be happy to hook you up with our Dropbox file and download those indicators for free. Thanks for watching. Ah! <sighs>